everybody says how fabulous it was. So it must have been. I was here. I'm not going by what I think. I'm going by what other people think. I think is that if in time the way it will go down in this year, it was an historic And then I wrote great creativity and group work. Group work. Yeah. It was a boss. And it was also Arab Young and Ford. So Rabbi and Tony. My pride. I saw you over in Nagara recently. Oh, it's Two, three days later. No, we always like, what are we making up here? She nodded at me in the conversation. I, 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 I scowled at him. Yeah. So, she looks like she's really trying to convince you to 
Who's never been here before? Yay! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <not true. laughs> um, should we stop at Nandi's because of that? No, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you have to say something. Huh? Joe, you can say something. We can start with Shireen. Who's, sure. who's here to show and work? Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you want to do? Sean has an announcement. I can do it before I go. Uh, welcome to the Bruce High Quality Foundation. This is a free, artist-run, proudly unaccredited school located in Manhattan. We have classes every weeknight, oftentimes on the weekend. Of course, at the intersection of art, comedy, and, and humor. basically people mad. <laughs> <laughs> really. But yeah, if you guys ever want to come, it's super fun. I usually have a guest who makes art, who is a writer, who's a stand-up comedian, who's very funny. They come in and engage with the class and sort of have a conversation on their work and things like that. So uh, tomorrow, I don't have a guest. We'll be catching up on the readings together, but it should be fun. It'll be very academic. There's probably going to be apple pie. There, yes, there's an apple picking trip tomorrow. Which <laughs> 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 Are we tweet as fuck? Yeah. No, we can do one tweet thing a year. This is our tweet. There's an apple picking trip tomorrow if anyone wants to pick apples. Um, we'll really? Try. Seriously? Right? There it is. <laughs> Seriously, an apple picking trip tomorrow. No, I'm putting together a pedagogical reader. There's going to be an activity book. Okay. 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 Thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, in the spirit of bravery, I will go first. And then Allison's going to go next. And then Panther's going to go next. And then Nandi. Which honestly, in our area, the meatpacking district where we were living, 
you know, we were living in this love right next to this bed bath and beyond it about, you know, and it was like basically like a storage cabinet for the bed bath and beyond, like it wasn't really a loft, you know, but Ruthie told me it was a loft, so, you know, you can imagine in that area, the meatpacking district in the early 2000s, like it wasn't exactly like, like there were like a lot of fruit trees, you know, lining the streets, so it kind of leads to gross things, and uh, I wasn't really into the idea. But then, you know, like even a few more years down the road, you like transitioned to liquid earring where he was just drinking liquids. And I really didn't think that was healthy for him, but he insisted that he was evolving and he was on a higher path. I kind of felt like he was devolving back to being a baby, you know, if you ask me, but uh, what can you do, you know? So he was a liquid dairy for a while and I just kind of dealt with it. And then finally, of course, the PS to love as he starts, he became like a bread theory and told me that he was living off the pride and energy of the universe, which is all vital and all wise and all healthy and all good, you know? And I kind of didn't believe him except, you know, when he started going like a year without food and he seemed pretty healthy and fine, I figured he was kind of onto something, you know, but it really took a toll on our relationship, you know, like, we couldn't really, like, go out for dinner or anything like that, you know, or, like, I don't know, eat a bag of chips when we watch a young movie, you know, it's the little things, kind of breakfast, you know, as the breathies like to call them, you know, and uh, they'd all sit there kind of eating and just being really embarrassed, you know, and like all of these breathy people like judging them and it was just kind of a weird scene you know but anyway i knew all the breathies from that and they were nice enough whatever and i brought andy back and we were just kind of wanting to party you know it was like a thursday night you know just like feeling like we wanted to maybe like have some fun girl time so we went and got a handle bike and vodka and like drank most of it and then andy totally puked up our dinner all over our bed you know and then Mickey like got really angry and he was like, you fucking stupid, food addicted, alcoholic, phony bitch. And that was like so not like Mickey, like I'd never seen him in such a state of rage and disgust with one of my best friends, you know. So I don't know, something like snapped at me and I like tied Mickey to the chair and like force fed him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so after that, Indy kind of decided that maybe I could use a break and so I'm now here just trying to process out my thoughts and relationships and stuff like that. So let me show you upstairs, okay?
situation that it was difficult for us to recover because we lost self-confidence and we lost the image of a I've always been confused and rough, but I didn't always look like this or act this way, so don't get it twisted. It started a long time ago when the blues came in to balance out the red and the yellow because it got too close, like it does every year. So the blues always comes around to balance everything out, right? Well, sometimes I don't know when to quit playing. So we had to build like a wall to like, you know, keep the blues on and whatnot. But like one day the wall came down when the blues came in. And some say it was like the, uh, the galaxy mile, because they always fucking have shit. And then some say it was the go-to. The gangsters of the universe. You know, <laughs> um, but anyway, so when the wall came down, like all the blues started all the colors away. You know what I'm saying? Like started washing it all away. Some people, some people, they were trying to rescue the colors. Look at me, how. Sometimes you're alone, you know, I touch myself. I, 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 you know, but 
who's now he, he owns hands, you know. So <laughs> and cast the mold, you motherfucker. Know, like, Well, 
with my entree recipe for next week. So the only thing that's left to do is for us to taste it. I'm so hungry. out tote bags, some promotional rugs um, depicting the three <laughs> artists that I'm about to speak with in front of you. We've got a, a journey to go on through video and the internet together. And they'll join us. So without further ado, I think I'll work. Hi guys. This is, okay, Bart, Tim, and Rex, everybody. Maybe a little bit. Hello. Hi. 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 How's things? No, no, no. Uh, uh, so I think I said this to some of you before. We're working on the projector, guys. Bear with us. Um, well, these collaborative paintings have been huge for the collective. And I would have never suggested that this was all your own. I was entirely in order and never done this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. This was your idea, not mine. Can you see me anyway? <laughs> okay, well. For these paintings, I just did the uh, gorgeous pink, blue, and yellow on top that you see here. Um, it's just to reinforce our brand authority. Um, so that's fair with us. We're having technical problems. subject of how we'll move forward. We don't, we're not going to talk too much longer. I just wanted to introduce you. But I, uh, we spoke about Mr. Uh, Decker before, the we'll star working with. How'd you guys like him? He's pretty nice, right? Decent artist. I guess he's so great. Maybe that has to be like him. Some's kind of funny. Well, you know, Greg did seem to take a fancy to him. Um, for those of you here who don't know, Greg is another painter from our collective whose work I admire greatly. Uh, however, it kind of seems like he can't really get along with these three. So we did the diplomatic thing, which was leave him out of every <laughs> single important decision we make, <laughs> including the collaborations. Um, Fortunately, we've got some new artists coming in to the collective, so maybe we can um, introduce them. They can navigate each other a little easier. Um, but anyway, it was nice to see your face again, hear your voice. Um, I'm going to end it now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you.
Um, on the right, we have Rex's piece as the sort of support. Tim and Bart's piece, and then on the left, there's a piece by Tim supporting Bart and Rex's piece. You can kind of see Bart's involved in painting cartoons, and Tim.
Oh, okay, okay, I'm crying now. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, I'm crying now, yes. Oh, okay. Oh. I can't get up yet. Okay, let's get two more minutes. Two more minutes, and then I'll get up. So this bitch has to be at least 80. But, but she looks like she's like... 60, and this is like plastic surgery that's done that is like subtle, but not that intense. Support. Tends to jump, but is inevitably confronted by the limitations of its gross tissue. 